are the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, Aries, in the recent past, we have the four of wands. Now, with the four of wands, when referring to relationships and love, this card can indicate that your relationship was about to come to a whole lot more in a committed way, up to and including a possible marriage. Now, if you were looking for love at that time, it shows that special events like weddings, bars, bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, they were great places to meet someone special at that time. So if you got invited to something like that, you made sure to go if you were single and um, or that was something that you should have done. You should have made it a point to go. And it's paired with the King of Wands. Now, with the King of Wands, uh, in regards to love, it's a very, it's an excellent card in, to get in a reading. Now, the King of Wands signifies that someone you cared about also had protective and caring feelings about you. And they were also willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work. Now, maybe more than usually you were focused on your career or work at that time. You needed to make time for romance or you did make time for romance, even if you were single, because you knew if you didn't, you'd end up with work being the only thing in your life. And that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. Okay, the present, we have the Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups, is a card that means reunions. Uh, reunions with a long lost love, a past love, an old flame. It does not always indicate that. It could mean um, something else. Uh, it just could mean just a, it could mean just a coming together with family, but for the most part, it means a reunion with a lost love. So you need to look carefully at the rest of the reading in context to decide whether that interpretation fits, whether it's a lost love or whether it's just getting together with friends and family. You need to continue with the full reading to find that out. So pay attention. And if you are single at this time, the most likely interpretation is that you'll meet someone soon. Or you'll, you're more than likely to meet a love soon, a love interest soon. Someone who really fits the bill. Uh, they'll be fitting the bill of the person you're looking for or the person that you've been, or the type of person that you've been waiting to meet, and that this person will be a new love, not someone you used to be with. And once again, that's if you're single. Now, if you're not single, um, just keep in mind that it could be a possible reunion. And then the Three of Cups it's paired with the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is a very, very positive card to get when asking about love and relationships. If you're single, 
this card often indicates that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. If you are in a relationship, the night can indicate final commitments. Final commitments, possible marriage. At the least, this card means positive messages, things that you would like to hear. So be open to exploration of your feelings. With these two cards paired together, the Three of Cups, uh, as I was saying, it could be a possible reunion with a lost love. Or if you're single and looking, you could meet a new love, someone that um, you used to be with. So it's about, it's kind of like reuniting with the past. If you're single, you could also find someone that fits the bill. Some, someone who has the qualities that you're looking for. And it's paired with the Knight of Cups. Very, very positive card to get when asking a question about love. So, if it's a reunion, uh, the person could be coming along uh, trying to reunite with you and they'll, they'll, they'll be wanting to sweep you off your feet. And if you're uh, single and you're meeting someone special or you have met someone special uh, it's very positive they could be um, uh, it could go to us uh, better heights and new levels uh, pretty fast because of, uh, this card the knight of cups is about commitments and marriage it can indicate that so you could meet the one Put it that way you could meet the one that you've always been wanting or always been looking for because the knight of cups is not um it's not saying that you'll be meeting uh someone that's just for fun it looks like a serious type a relationship or it will become that way pretty soon and that's the present now we move on to the challenge we have a page of wands. Now, page of wands are messages of love and affection. They're likely to be coming your way soon. So if you're single, a new suitor with whom you have a lot in common with and who is very adventuresome may be about to burst into your world. So take a chance on them, but only if you're available, if you're committed and not happy now would be the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you will try to make it happen just keep in mind both parties have to be willing to work in a relationship if your partner isn't it might be time to move on now the page of wands is paired with the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles it's not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to questions of love and relationships unfortunately now you may have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should as you can see in the picture she looks like she's trying to get out of town or 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 either escape uh, I hope you can see the picture, but that's what it's showing. So, someone may be mistreating you. It may be that you need to stop fantasizing about this person completely. Now, this card can very much be a card about feeling left out in the cold. So, it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soulmate, soul level happy, meaningful relationship. So just keep in mind, when the love is right, you don't have to do backflips to make it work. Broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive because just remember you're a very lovable person. And with these two cards paired together, the page of wands, messages of love and affection, 
they're coming your way. So it could be about the present time that I was talking about the reunion of a past flame or a lost love, or you actually meeting someone that you find that's perfect for you and they fit the bill in so many ways. So the challenge with the page of wands, you're gonna be getting messages coming your way uh, with someone whom you have a lot in common with, okay? And it's paired with a five of pentacles, which is not a very happy indicator when it comes to questions about love. Someone you have your eye on, someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should. So, it sounds like the someone that's coming in to reunite with you, uh, you have a lot in common with them, but you could be leaving a relationship or trying to move out of a relationship that you were in that was not right for you. But you have someone new coming along that, uh, that's much better for you. That's what these two cards are, are saying. And whatever situation you're in, whether it's a romantic love relationship or some type of situation, it doesn't have to be romance. You're trying to end that. You're trying to get out of that. And um, it looks like um, you definitely have um, something new coming in. Like I said, it could be someone from the past or it could be uh, a new person that that you have a whole lot in common with and, and they fit the bill. So I guess the challenge would be is to take care of whatever you're trying to end or move away from because you have something great coming towards you. And then once again, that's a challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. We have the four of cups. Now the four of cups is a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and the many blessings we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. So just keep in mind, it is all too easy to overlook what we already have in the pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you are counting your blessings. Count your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. A lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. Put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. And the Four of Cups, it's paired with the Strength card. Now, love should be going very well at this time. If you're committed, it's likely to be a strong relationship that is mutually supportive and beneficial. If you're looking for someone or a relationship, this is a much better than average time to meet people. So you should, or you will be feeling self-confident. So get out and mix and mingle. You might very pleasantly be surprised by how things work out. And with these two cards paired together, the Four of Cups, count your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. So it's paired with a Strength card. Uh, things will be going very well for you. So you really shouldn't be looking back and focus, focusing on um, what was or what could be because the strength card is letting you know that things, they will be turning out well or they will be going well for you. And uh, if you're looking for someone, it's a much better than average time to meet people. Uh, you'll be feeling self-confident at this time. So make sure you don't focus on things that are 
not good for you. Um, don't forget, count your blessings and um, be thankful for the things that you do have. And that's going to be the outcome. So Aries, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day. And have